I want to take a look at the 2024 mending uh, a fence. This was talking about political divides. Mending fence. This is a political divide. It is cuts across the political parties, both APC, PDP, LP, you just name it. What if a report about what happened uh, to the LP candidate when he went to visit Uniben and people are like, you know, not really happy about it. What went wrong? What led to it? What must have uh, given rise to that? We'll talk about all that. But uh, there is this comment credited to a particular political heavyweight in one political party. Ask our National Working Committee, ask our governor what is in there for us. And believe you me, that is the question in the hearts of many Edo citizens, both card carrying members of the political party, even non card carrying members of Edo State. They are asking the question after all this noise, after all this vigorous, rigorous campaign, what is in there for us? Are we going to benefit? Are we going to feel the dividends of democracy? Even before you enter that position, if I work so hard for you to win, what is in there for us? As it stands right now, many parties are trying to find their foot because they are not united. They are still divided. Now, how can these fences be mended? All right, how can it be mended so that people can come out together to work as one, having one singular goal to make sure they win the election? As they have, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. The same panel is with me, uh, Barista Robinson, Imade, Ahmed, Ewaike, and of course Joshua Anoboha. I hope I got that name correctly. Yes, correct. yes, yes. Anoboha. So they are still here to share their views and opinions. And right now, I'm going to start off with Joshua Anoboha. Now, what do you feel about this bending fence? As far as it stands right now, many political parties, though some want to deny it, they are not united. Take it up from there. Okay, um, you know, in, uh, in, in politics, there's no permanent friend and there's no permanent enemy. And issues are bound to arise during political um, times and, and, and seasons. So, but, um, however, you cannot take away personal interest. You know, politics is, is all about, it's all about interest. So that is the reason why you are seeing, um, you have this faction, you have this faction, you have this, this divide. And now, trying to talking about the particular the, the mending of the fences you are, you are talking about. Now, uh, I think at, the, at this particular time, you know, the APC have been able to put their house in. They have been able to put their house in order during their primary. There were some shenanigans that that happened. At the end of the day, they resolved. Then uh, again, the PDP at this particular time, you can remember the impeachment of the, the deputy uh, governor. That issue is there, and they are still you know still wobbling still wobbling on that particular uh, issues. Now, the truth is this. Because of the fact that there's no permanent friend in politics, again, and also no permanent enemy, um, I think they, they could actually come to a result. They should actually come to an agreement. Anybody that's actually been aggrieved, if you have never actually agreed and you felt that probably you were cheated during the primaries or you were pushed to the wall, or somebody took advantage of you, as the case may be, however, you should you know, come and actually harmonize. But again, it also depends on the, the political parties itself. It depends on the leaders of the political party. It is not just being a political party. However, it's how is winning an election. Winning an election is important. And mind you, the times and era, we, and I tell, I tell people when we engage in political discussions, police are, have evolved from the times where you feel that something, a miracle will happen. A miracle mm -hmm. will not happen, especially in a do state. If you don't <laughs> converse, if you don't converse, if you don't tell people what's in for them, if you don't tell us why you, what, why you want to represent <clears throat> us in uh, Osadebe Avenue, the Edo people I know, we stand vehemently, you understand? We stand vehemently against you and stand firmly against you. So basically, um, uh, they should put uh, their houses in order because it's man, affect all of you know all of all of these things then again the pdp they are the ones in the uh, hem of affair currently in those states yeah now you know he looking looking within and so we call political calculation actually looking within and you know you have this function uh, i'm ahead of the uh, legacy pdp the pdp itself and even the deputy governor has his own, his own uh, uh, fashion so again the leader of that political party should be able to come and say okay come your grievances, these are, what, are your, what are your grievances? And try to see how they can actually uh, resolve. The APC have been able, have, have been able, able to, to do that. You saw what they did during the primaries and you know, scratching and destruction of property. By the end of the day, they are, they are party leaders resolved. And they resolve that matter you know, amicably. Now, what's in, what's, uh, you, what's in for us 
again is that when I think any time from now campaign will start, right? Twenty fourth. Any time from now campaign will start, and I want to use medium to actually say that you should, you should let's disassociate our minds from any politics of, of bitterness, politics of, of, of blackmail. Edo is a developing state. And one, one thing I like the Edo and all Edo, Edo lights, for when they want something, they go for it. And when they, and they, go, when they, when they go for it, genuinely, mm. they get it. So uh, that, that's it basically. That's no, it. All right. Now, if you take a look at uh, the let's start from uh, the APC. All right, you, you get to realize that some are saying, despite this arrangement, are not happy what is on the ground right now. Some are saying uh, someone ought to be the, the governorship candidate. Why do the other one have nothing to do with governance? Okay, now they give one running mate, they give the other one uh, governor, and they see this story about power tussle between two political heavyweights in the APC. Now that is for APC. Now for the Labour Party, you get to hear NLC saying their own Labour Party. Uh, they they, they registered the Labour Party. They must listen to the NLC. They are saying, NLC is saying no. That be saying we have a constitution. You just can't come and say what you have to say in this party will stand. And that particular trouble at the national level has trickled down to the state. Whether you like it or not, they have factions already. Some for the LP, others are saying we are in the LP, but we're not in support of this particular candidate on that division. Now come to the PDP. You get to hear the impeachment of the deputy governor. You get to the legacy group asking what is in there for us. You get to hear them also saying that they've been excluded from governance. And some are saying we can do without these people. Factions here and there. Go to the YPP, the PRP, the ZLP, the NNPP. They have their own issues. Put all these things on the table. Do you think all these issues will be resolved before the D-Day? Thank you, Mr. Wixing, for the question. And all these things you've uh, said, they are what makes the politic or the political environment very interesting. If all these intrigues are not there, the political environment will not be interesting at all. So because of all this intrigue crisis, makes the political environment very interesting, tense, and it gives everybody room to start thinking, you know, having plan A, plan B, plan C or even plan D uh -huh, towards the course of the election. So let me start from the All Progressive Congress. Good enough, uh, we, have already, uh, we have discussed that one, that uh, the APC is the party that have been able to meet fences so far. Uh, starting from the primaries, you know I belong to one of the camp in the primaries. So at the end of the day, they have to resolve with the team, the leadership, and say, OK, uh, you, you have, you have given the governorship ticket. OK, the other one, you come and become the deputy uh, governorship uh, 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 candidate. So at the end of the day, the both of them have been able to come together and agreed on that very joint ticket to fly for the race. So we have, uh, you know, down, down the tension within the party. Then also coming to the question, you asked are two political big weights. That matter have been set to, as it stands right now, we only have only one apex leader in the state, which is Adam Sushomole, and he's, in fact, he's doing his thing, and he's pushing the party and moving the boats to where he believes. Yeah, some may not agree with you that he's the apex leader yeah, of the party. He is. It has, that one has been settled long ago, mm -hmm. and there's no two ways about that. Uh -huh. We only have one leader in the state which is Adam Sushomole. Any other person who did not believe in the leadership of Adam Sushomole as the leader of the party, mm -hmm. then the, you should know that the person is going to do what they call agada in the politics, meaning he's going to work for either PDP or work for LP. Mm -hmm. If you know you are an APC member and you want to work for APC, then you must have to recognize the leadership of Sushomole as the leader, at those state number one leader. That's all. No, that we don't have to. We don't have to. And if you have to check all the criteria that will make one a leader, nobody has surpassed him. He's the only one that is a two-time governor. He's the only one that is a current senator. So whoever is dragging Mogzo with him now have never even contested the position and won. The only position he has had is elected. Well, well some people be saying that what you're saying right now will just aggravate the party members the more. No, 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 no. no, 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 no that, 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 that is why I said, that is why I said, these intrigues, all these issues yes. are what makes the whole politics very interesting. interesting. If it is not there, it will be so boring, so mm. bored that... Mm, it would not be interesting. This is making more interesting. How can you be tossing power? You have not even won an election. Okay, go and test your strength. Go and contest for senator and let's see your strength. Well, like you, you lose woefully. 
Calm down. No, watch your emotions. Hold on. So, 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 so you cannot can be rubbish out with a two-tank governor. Watch your emotions. A current senator, and you said you want to be a state leader for what? It doesn't make sense. So uh, that is for that. APC <laughs> have made their fences. Barista, are you clapping a uh, suspicious? Uh, I, 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 and, the, and the, the party is moving. Mm. As I yesterday, they received uh, an exodus of people trooping into the party. Mm. Uh, even uh, Senator Matthew Rogide came in. I wonder, uh, as of rep, uh, 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 aspirant at that time, one Patrick also came in from Owen and so many other persons, even from Bobaka. I was amazed seeing one of the former Bobaka uh, uh, PDP LGA uh, uh, chairman also decamping by Mr. Kevin coming back to uh, uh, the, the, the APC. I was kind of saying, wow, what has happened? What have aggravated to this extent? So I started making my calls and getting some facts, which I may not want to disclose on air. So there's an exodus of people moving to APC, meaning APC have meant their fences and they are now pushing forward to see how they can continue to you know, bring in more persons to the fold. But that will not stop them from also having some holes within the war. Uh -huh. But that one is part of the game in politics. Then uh -huh. coming back to the PDP, Yes, it's unfortunate to now have what they call a legacy PDP and the, the other PDP. And in other parties, you just have one party. But this time around the PDP, you have what they call legacy and you have the other group. And the other group, the legacy now is still making one mistake, if, I may, if you permit me to say it. Like as we just finished concluding just now that Adam Sassoumler remained the APS leader in the state. The same thing with the do state. Forget the fact that I owned this house before you came in. That is immaterial for now. As long as the person came into the party, because Nigerian Constitution have also opined that everybody have this or own right to become a member of any political party mm -hmm. or association that he or she belongs to, which my two legal uh, 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 learned people here will agree with me. That yes, you have every right to say, okay, I want to belong to this association, mm -hmm. which nobody can deny you of it. So now the, the, the governor has come into your party and you gave him the party card and he contested on the platform of your party. He becomes the number one leader in your party and he, he chooses to guide the path to that's what they call a leader he chooses to take the path like this so this is how i want to lead my party so it is supposed to be you know how will i use the english now for you to kill him be, be behind the governor so that at the end of the day the governor will be able to lead both himself and you to the destination he wants to go to but unfortunately some group called legacy people said no we owns the party we want to do it this way ah, you are not dragging power and rubbing shoulder with uh, somebody that owns the cutlass that is heading the cutlass at the other end and you are holding the sharp side he wants to drag it it will cut your hand off now and is the one paying you either pays the paper the tune the tune he owns the money the resources currently and you are still dragging power with him i don't understand there's nothing like legacy pd pdp is pdp and the governor is in charge are you speaking about PDP right now? No, no, no. You, you, you ask me a question. Oh, of course, yeah, sure. Party. So sure. I'm only trying to. So I'm only trying to. No, I'm only. I'm only being objective. Sometimes when I talk here, people will ask me. Are you still? Are you still sure you are APC? The other day you asked me. Are you sure you? See, I'm being objective. No. I try to speak issues based on the way it is. If you mm -hmm. like, take. If you don't like, don't take it. You don't feed me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I'm not uh, your boy that you not tell me what to say on air. So what I'm trying to say in summary is that. The legacy PDP is getting all wrong. And if you check the tone the governor is going, honestly speaking, I didn't vote for Governor uh, Obasek in the 2020 governorship election. I'm not his fan. But I am beginning to like his tune of politics. I must confess. He's introducing intelligence into politics, not the old way of politics. Mm. Trying to say that man a leader for there or he go feed deliver. I'm leader, they deliver again. Most of the leaders are losing their units. Mm. Most of the leaders cannot even deliver their pulling boots. And you're saying a leader for the which leader. I like the tone of which the, the, the governor is taking this. Amount. In fact, I am not a basically, but I think the war basically is going on. It's trying to feed off all the so called people that call themselves legacy PDP. Oh. As that the PDP will remain. So the brother that, the, the, the leader, or let me call him the leader that asks, what is in there for us? My brother, the only thing that is there for you, kill behind the basically, and you get what you want. And if okay. you refuse to kill behind the basically, nothing in there for you. As for the LP, yes, LP na Labour Party, NLC now, I'd say then get them. So I don't see any reason why people will start flexing muscles with them. But as for that, I know that those people just came in, OB Factor brought them to Lemna. They were not ready for politics. So mm -hmm. if they told they were ready for politics, they would have planned their house very, very well. So the crisis will keep on lingering until they remove issue of greed 
and I want to be in charge of power right. so that at the end of the day they will get to where they are going to. All right, I I'll come back to you, Mike. Now, while you was raising some point, Mr. Robinson, you were just clapping and smiling, and I was saying that that clap and smile is suspicious. Yes. Now, please give voice to your thought because I know you are deep in thought as he's raising those points. So, going on to you, Barrister. Honestly, I was clapping for him uh, because um, I can guarantee his sanity hmm. because of the position he takes on issues. Otherwise, when you see the best speakers in APC trying to defend APC, they turn stammerers. Mm. Uh, you see them sweating under very uh, uh, serious air condition <laughs> atmosphere. And he is balanced. That's why I was clapping for him. Well, if you want me to look at the three major, ma three major what? parties today, he has said that the APC, where he belongs, Thank God I don't belong to any political party. I'm not a card carrying <laughs> member of any party. I can't play politics the way it is played today. As a youth winger of the UPN, I played politics mm. in the, during the Second Republic and I enjoyed it. Now I cannot swim in the murky water. Now, uh, he said the APC has uh, been able to make fences. All right. That's what it appears to be. But I think there's an, an uneasy calm in the APC. Uneasy calm. That's the way I look at it. Mm. Uh, the acclaimed number one leader, undisputed leader of the APC, Adam Sushomale, mm. before the primaries, was carrying somebody else he thought would be the governor. He didn't hide it. He came up and the whole world heard it. That same candidate was declared winner by no less a personality than a serving governor of the APC, the Imo State governor. Another person they said was uh, the returning officer declared the current candidate. The party leadership said the election, the primaries was inconclusive. We are going to carry, do it again, if you like. I'm not aware, I'm sure he too will not be aware when that uh, primary was done again. But we got a name, the one that was declared by the returning officer, and the one declared by the governor, who was chairman of the uh, exercise, was now to be deputy. I don't want to talk about the people. The same Adam Soshomole, he said, is the undisputed leader, received in his house recently at least eight former local government chairmen not in the party secretariat, not in an open place, but in his house. That tells me that he is perhaps uh, assuming the position of the leader. The other fellow, which you may not want us to mention his name, whom he said has not won any elections before, also has his own clout. He was carried shoulders high before by the same Oshomole. For how long this will go? I won't know. But I also know that the PDP candidate is a very close friend of Adam Sushomole and worked with him for eight years, according to the man, while he was governor. I know, too, that that same PDP candidate is very close to the current governor of Edo State. And recently, I saw a picture of the estranged friends, the governor of Basaki and of Shomole, smiling at each other. How that will play out in the next couple of weeks or months, I won't know. Mm. Will Oshomole truly support, for party affinity sake, the candidate, he, the aspirant he didn't want who has become candidate? Will he sell his friendship with the PDB candidate on the platter of his newfound candidate, a man he openly worked against during the uh, primary exercise? Those are, that's why I say I see the APC having an uneasy calm. But the way it is to the average person, they seem to be calm as you speak. Yes. The PDP, he may like the style of the governor. I have never been a fan of Obaseki. Hmm. But Obaseki is somebody who has been tutored on, who has become a general in the political battlefield, as still taught by Oshomole. He fought Oshomole at one. 
he has fought many battles. The governor of Rebar State who came to Edo State and was almost locked up in a hotel by the powers that be in the interest of uh, Baseki, he also fought and I think he won. He is fighting some big battles as far as the culture of Edo State is concerned. I don't think he will win. But as for the legacy party, I agree with my friend here absolutely that there's one PDP. I don't know whether the legacy PDP is registered or not. Like he said, the option they have is to queue behind the recognized PDP. But is politics played that way? I think the legacy PDP battle is one battle that Obaseki may not win. Politics is a game of numbers. And I think that the advisors of Obaseki should let him know that losing eight former local government chairmen is a serious matter. And the legacy PDP, knowing that it will be difficult for them to swim triumphantly to the shore, have come out for the first time to say, please, our governor, I heard the yes, uh, spokesman uh, mentioned our governor, uh, discuss with us. What is in there for us? Yes, they are begging for recognition. Mm. And if I were Baseki, I know I'm not in his shoe, we don't use the same size. Mm. I will call them <laughs> and discuss with them and bring them to the food. Nobody will tell me that the legacy PDP, as led by, who is this, a do state former PDP chairman, uh, as led by... Is it oh, where you're talking about? Oh, Dan Obi. Dan Obi yes. has no force. Nobody will convince me that the, that group has no force. Mm. Dan Obi himself is a major force in the political arena. Not only in Edo State, but in the South-South and Nigeria in, in general. I don't know if he has stopped being the uh, uh, vice, National Vice Chairman South-South of the mm. PDP. Yes. So by the time you now want to, like he said, uh, push them aside, ignore them, you will be making serious political mistake. But they said he's, he's done it before, he succeeded, he won. Like, what do you like, he rightly said, he fought this battle and he won. Mr. Container. Okay. You and are some of the people are saying that are, they don't even know let that, that. Let that be, let that be a matter for another day. day. Hmm. Oshomole, uh, Baseki won that election because the people resolved that Oshomole Yon has become too much. We will vote for this man. We have a system in those state as uh, put in place by Oshomole where an outgoing governor will be the spokesman of the incoming governor. Oshomole was the spokesman of Obaseki during his first coming. The second coming, because the man the APC said was good enough, went to school, was the best, blah, 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 almost in the words of Oshomole, became not good enough for second term. And people said, no, you have said this man was very good. We'll vote for him. This man you are saying we should vote for now. You said was not a human being, was a sadist, was did not go to school and everything. So you cannot be speaking from two sides of it. It was a protest vote. Protest votes brought Obaseki the second term. It wasn't just against the the other candidate. It was against Shomole and in favor of the fact that we are no prepares. You cannot be telling us a. And later B. That was it. It's not going to be the same now. And Basaki has won for himself enough enemies in the last four years. You know. So want to let the legacy group go. I don't I don't believe in them. Oh, right. Lastly, on the legacy group, whether we like it or not, that eight people left is bad enough. He said many people are, uh, are on the queue to leave. And the legacy group is coming to say we are open for negotiation. What will it take? What will it take to bring them in? Okay. If they are 20, they must have at least two, two other people Following that will, for their um, sake, go for them. And politics is a game of number. Over now to you. You heard the reason. We said, look, you letting them go would be a huge mistake. He has fought so many battles. The governor here has won some political battles. But right now, here we are. We have one looming. Don't you think everyone should have their members intact? It's like you're having all your cards. Rather than say you don't need some of the cards to win a particular game. Take it up from there. Okay, it's, it's rather unfortunate that uh, you know all of these things are all of these things are happening, and it's, it's they're interesting times. You know, they're interesting times. Um, uh, you know, the deputy governor is there. 
Do, do not think that the deputy governor has no political relevance. The if former, you know, the sorry, 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 former ex, sorry, okay, ex deputy governor, yes. The former deputy governor, I'm talking about yeah. Philip Shaibu. Yes. If, do, do not think that he wouldn't have any political relevance. Mm. Likewise, the um, you know the legacy PDP. Like my my. Uh, Lenny Senior said here, yeah, politics is a game of number. number. You understand? And my brother, I bet to differ when you're talking about uh, the, his, you know, the governor's style of politicking and all, and, and all of that. I, I totally bet to differ from that. Now, when Obaseki was coming again the second time, he got protest or what I would put as sympathy Vote. votes. And he said that no. Uh, even there's a video that was even trending some days ago. Some, I think two days ago. That I, I, when I come in as governor, I, I, I can never. If I if I become a godfather, stone me. If I become a godfather, do this to me, crucify me. The truth is this: we cannot use a do, another use a do as you know as a, a, a playground mm -hmm. or experiment in another four years. Let us be very sincere with it. Now you know at this particular time, every oh my God. At this particular time, what the PDP needs is, is, is synergy, not you know enmity, because it takes. It takes two to actually tango, you understand? Um, this is not the time to actually build a political enemies, you understand? So when um, everybody comes up and start making some insinuations, I think the best thing is for the leader of the party, I don't want to say the governor now, the leader of the parties to call these persons. Because at the end of the day, they, they have options. They have options of going to other political you know, parties where they feel probably they can actually be recognized and actually be you know, respected. So I think for the, for the PDP, by both the legacy PDP and the PDP itself, they should be able to come to a consensus at the end. They should be able to come to an agreement. They should be able to come and sit and reach you know, a, you know, a table if probably, if truly they are ready for these you know, elections. Because even the Bible says that he has divided against itself, he cannot stand. You understand? You cannot put something on nothing. You understand? So the governor should call uh, the legacy P PDP since they have actually reached out and said that come call us call, call them you cannot tell before the, uh, someone like uh, the person of Obedi Yama could I think he's a two-time member mm -hmm. or he, or he was a two-time rather member of the House of Representatives and he has contested election and won that's to let you know he also that person has political relevance he has people who are under him he has people who are who listens to him he has he has followers you understand mm -hmm. so it, this is not the time to you know build political enemies or war Around, around, around you to surround. So what you need to do at this particular time, that you should call those persons who have already reaching out to him. Call them. They should sit down together. They should make defenses so that if they are actually ready to contest, because even the uh, all progressive uh, Congress, they are not, they are not smiling. You, you can see the the armor and all the, the weapons they are carrying, gathering for this mm. uh, election. Yes, you mm. can see the political gladiators. They are, they are ready to descend in the arena. You understand? They are not, they are not smiling again. Let's not. Let's not believe two other political parties. The Labour Party is there. In as much as my, my Leonard uh, Senior said that it was the relevance of Peter Obi. In the last election, so many persons flew on the wings of Peter Obi, and mm -hmm. that made the Labour Party you know, became so very, very popular. Again, do not also undermine the Labour Party. If you look at the person of Olumide Abata, he is SY, the president of the Nigerian Ambassadors Association. And when he won, I worked closely with him during the election. Mm -hmm. He won with a very, very large margin. And he's a man that if he wants something, he actually goes for it. So anybody should not take anything for granted. Nothing should be around you. Nothing should be taken for granted. When issues arise before campaign, they should be made. Like I mentioned the, about uh, the ex-deputy governor mm -hmm. who was impeached. You understand? Personally, to me, because of the elections i'm talking about the pdp now because yeah. of the elections though it has it has it has it has actually gone by now because of the election i think they, they would have been an easy result this uh 10 years about seven months or six months to go if i'm not if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. i think they would have been an easy result you understand now so are you trying to tell me that the person of uh, right honorable philip shaibu you know cannot also cajole some certain persons or oh, are you trying to tell me that right on Philip shaibu after he was impeached will be free to work for his party as he is because there's no news as at this material time that he had decamped to any political party, even if we had so many speculations that mm -hmm. he is going to the APC and all of those things. So you know all of these things are these you know political you know shenanigans. And at the end of the day, if they are not able to put their ass in order, it is it is risky. It is risky and at a particular time where any other political party can take advantage of the of the of the situation. You will see when we make campaign, when campaign start, you, you will see what so many things will begin to unfold. So many mm -hmm. things will begin to you see, people begin to speak up, people begin to speak their mind. And most of all, one thing I like Edu people, I, I'm, I'm, I'm be proud of like, when I believe Edu and I go out, I, 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 I tell them, I say, come, there are things we don't do in this place. So. 
Mm. That is, you cannot, you cannot push us. I know people that you can push to the corner. When we want to speak, we speak and our voice uh, is actually, you know, heard. So um, for the PDP, the governor should, you know, come uh, together, those aggrieved members, even the, the, his elsewhere deputy governor, whom both of them work for seven good years as friends mm. before they now, before they now fell out. If, you know, come and reach out to them because everybody is important. Mm. Uh, the APC is not doing uh, badly. Labour Party also is not doing, but let's also forget that we also have YPP and we also have the NMPP. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, nobody should actually be taken for granted. Nobody should be taken for granted. Yeah. One or two, I made. They said the, 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 the peace uh, you're enjoying right now is like, you know, uh, what was the term Barista used again about uneasy calm? Yes, because of the gladiators in the APC. And another question, like a follow up question, do you see an end to this squabble in the PDP? Some are saying, we don't need this person to just go. Leave us alone. We can work without this particular person. We can work with this legacy group. Let's just focus and get this job done. Uh, let me just take it from where you just ended. Let us focus and get this job done. And I think that is just the pivotal point in this game. Mm. Because if I may understand Obaseki tactics, he knows that majority of these legacies are not really comfortable or happy with the system because they've not really benefited from the government. Mm. So now, instead of you play, putting your hope in the legacy group that, oh, I have one legacy uh, group there that will work for me, why don't we just focus on, you know, the grassroots and on that kind of fresh persons mm. who I believe will do the voting for me? Because actually, elections are won at the units. Because well, from the little knowledge I've gathered in politics, so these so-called people you call leaders, honestly speaking, some of them don't have electoral values any longer. I know what I am saying. In my polling booth where I vote, I know how many leaders that are there that are, that are failing woefully on every election period. Mm -hmm. But they are the ones that will come to the political meeting and say, there's no problem there. We're going to just win there. They don't even have a little value. They can't even, you know, okay, I don't want to mention him. A, a secretary of a political party could not, a state secretary of a political party could not win his unit. And some person will, will be governizing himself, hey, I, 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 I am a leader in the party. Is it about winning or coordinating the, the, the no, people no, no, in the no, unit? No, 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 after coordinating. And you lose, what did you gain? <laughs> oh, I beat it before, but I just fail. <laughs> or somebody did not read and it passed. Which one do you accept? <laughs> is it not who passed? The essence of this whole thing is winning the election. So if unknown person can give me votes in the polling unit, and the, uh, the unknown person can give me votes in the polling unit, and I win, then the so-called known person cannot make me win. So what value am I using him, him, him or her for? Mm -hmm. So I think the, the angle here is, since the legacy, except maybe let me come to the angle of uh, my father here, which says that since the legacy have called mm -hmm. for inclusivity, say, come and speak with us. On that ground, I will advise the His Excellency to meet them and meet with, meet with them and come to a compromise. Work for. But aside that, if not that they have called, because I don't, most of the legacy will not want to work. So instead of you now putting your energy where you know probably there will be a saboteur, why don't you just let them up and focus on people that you know, okay, I am with you, I'm with you, that you can even focus that, oh, I'm going to get, I'm going to win second in this election with this group I'm seeing. Then I'll lay your foundation with some group of persons that you know we are going to sabotage you. Mm. I don't know if you are getting me. So to me, that's why I said I like the game of Bazaki is playing because it's very intelligent because we are in the game. I've been using the word Agada in the sense that there are so many politicians in this election that are going to wear the sheep clothing and they are woof. Or some are going to be wolf, you know, behaving like a sheep in this very election that is coming. Mm -hmm. Now, like in the APC that he just mentioned, we're on easy camp. Yes, uh, Barista from his uh, experience may know why he's speaking like that. But as far as me, I'm concerned in my party now, the fences is gradually may be made. Unless when some individual will come up to want to claim that, and which that leadership issue will not come up again because this excellency, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, was able to mediate into that crisis to ensure that they come to this very simple compromise. And even when he spoke with them, asked them, uh, distinguished NATO, are we good to go? That one said, it's good to go. The other one, are we good to go? He said, it's good to go. Meaning, we have all agreed that as a leader, you have resolved this issue. So that is where Tinibu is quite different from Buhari in the sense that he intermediates into internal politics. Because outside that, with the case that uh, Honorable Dennis, he also fired in the court before, there was no way people would have had a candidate. 
mm. unless you have returned, you would have returned that ticket back to Dennis. But for us to have, okay, for them to have, okay, we'll draw the cases and say, okay, then you should do deputy. You should know that at least a father has come in mm -hmm. and defenses is being made. And like I said, it's not dispute about that leadership issue. So Shomole is the leader and he will ensure that he deliver his states for, oh, the, for, 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 for the party. Over to you, Barista Robin. So you have a contrary view because, like, you know, taking from your view, you say, yes, an easy come from experience and all that. But if we went on to expansion and the reason why he said there is truly uh how will i put it now things have been mended in this political party the apc now taking a look at the labor party right now someone saying because of the trouble the national it might just affect the state take it up from there well uh, he made some salient points it is said that winning is not everything it is the only the thing. only thing mm. it's the only thing and um, to that extent looking at um for example, the political leaders that yeah. we were touting. How many times has the deputy, as far as deputy governor, won his unit or his ward for PDP, even as a sitting deputy governor? Go and find out. As for the legacy, I'm trying to align with him. Yeah. As for the legacy group, um, without them, the PDP has won elections here. But that does not negate the fact that politics is a game of number. Pride, they say, go ahead before it fall. If the legacy group, a group that, that subsumes their interest to ensure the emergence of a basket, they are coming to him now to say, look, we are still here waiting. Meet with us. There should be no reason that the sun where should not meet with them. But I also think that the Nigerianness in them uh, is coming out too quickly, asking what is there for me or what is there for us. But someone said that is politics. Are you are you going, about personal interest? Are you going the personal interest or selfish interest? They are different things. Mm. Are you going in there because you need some bread and butter? Are you hungry? You've been out of the the, the circle for so long. You are now hungry. But those men don't look hungry. If you take a look at the clip, they, they, they don't said, look hungry. I'm not saying they are. <laughs> for example, for example, for example, for so yeah. long as uh, the SY River State Governor now in Abuja mm. is there, only Hama will not be hungry. Mm. Ubedi Hama will not be hungry. But if he comes, if he came out to voice what is there for us, as a group, I, I, I would have, I would, have, I know, I would have thought that that was too early. Mm. That is a statement we would have made at the reconciliation table. table. To tell the world we are going because we want to get something. I mean, it was too quick. But let's leave that at that. You mentioned the Labour Party. Mm. I see Olumide Akwata as uh, one who is going to be very relevant in this election. My friend is happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> because he's <laughs> he just <laughs> mad. He, he, he will be very relevant. Mm. Somebody mentioned this morning that uh, when you hear Aswe Wodalu speaking, you know he's the one without seeing his face. Mm. When you hear Olumide speaking, you know he's the one without seeing his face. Mm. It's not certainly going to be a pushover. As far as I'm concerned, the Labour Party has become relevant in Edo South. Don't forget that they have the senator presenting those South in the National Assembly today. And perhaps the only credential of uh, the APC candidate is the fact that he's in the Senate. Nobody knows, nobody can say for sure what he has done since he was born up to the time he got to the Senate. They said that he was PA to the late Aneni. So we cannot push your low blow this morning, Barista. <laughs> I don't know where it's coming from. <laughs> if you know, tell me. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Our time is up. Our time is up. Our time is up. Gentlemen, thank you. We don't have time for like, you know, welcome. to conclude or anything. You've made all the points you want to make. Maybe subsequently we're gonna visit and take a look at the criteria or so, uh, the pedigree of all these politicians. I mean, what is it? <laughs> of all these politicians okay but please if you are in a political party do the best you can to make sure that the fence is amended or else it's going to affect you negatively in the election
Once more, gentlemen, thank you so, so much. Well, I appreciate the wonderful analysis. Well, thank well, you so, so much. We'll do it again next week, Sunday, God willing. Bye for now.